archive is to agitate obsessively on the surface. Just keep on rubbing until something starts to make meaning, until something surprising begins to happen there. The most striking thing that I came across that is more or less uh, invisible inside the Beckett uh, archive is that Cunard, who is mentioned six times in the long speech, is the first person who ever um, commissioned Beckett, who ever published Beckett. And so I started doing some investigation into Nancy Cunard, and this is Nancy Cunard here. Have you seen her? She's ravishing. And you can only imagine how much she pissed off her family. <laughs> Pretty fab, eh? In the end, he actually made a chalk drawing which he treated as if it were a photograph, and then he photographed the chalk drawing. The very first time that I worked with an art project in relation to the archive. And it was the little Ubu. And isn't he an interesting and adorable figure? You know, who would know that this was to represent the mass murderer of our century? Smiley, smiley. Bad man, smiley, smiley. <laughs> Chimp. Oh, don't turn away from me, dear. That's very indiscreet of you. So, but he does keep on insisting that he wants to be back in the world and ask another set of questions. So, don't think he likes just sitting here. He wants to be animated again. Hello to you, darling little fellow. Mm -hmm. This is in many ways the story of our future, but let me begin with the past. <coughs> the air has provided a long standing metaphor for our preoccupation with the limits of the human being. Yeah, I want you to think about a puzzle, a problem that you're really trying to deal with, and identify somebody in the space that you'd like to explore that a little bit. Yeah, so I just want to uh, underscore that this is a space in which we are going to make ourselves available to one another. You know, part of the brilliance of what's been accomplished over the pre previous iterations here is everybody's kind of open-heartedness and it's about real collaboration of a kind that generally, you know, economies don't make available to us all. So it's about learning from one another, watching each other work, having one's own practice challenged and transformed in various different ways. So really, I know that one or two pieces may not be in the iterations that they first came in with, and we'll give people the chance to talk about that. That's part of what the workshop is about. You may decide, in fact, that you want to do uh, a reading of King Lear standing on your head, drinking cream soda, or whatever it is. You, something may come upon you, and this is a space in which that is really allowed. And that's one of your strongest attributes, is you just don't talk back. Hello, sweetie. But, you know, I know you're thinking all the time. There's somebody inside that mind. And that's pretty creepy. <laughs> Hello, you darling fellow. So one thing I'm going to recommend that you look at on YouTube is a woman called Nina Conti. That's, you know, that's also kind of marvelous to
time.